Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Agarbane101, and this is Receiver. Receiver is made by a small indie developed company, created by just a few people, actually, of that company, in a competition to who can create a really cool gun-based uh, FPS shooter. And Receiver is not your typical FPS shooter, um, but this is what makes it awesome. It's all based around this gun here. There's only one gun in the game. Um, and that is this one right here, the M1911, and you can actually remove the clip by just pressing E on the keyboard, um, as you can see here, and you put it back into the clip, you can put it over here, you can actually holster your weapon and put more ammo into the clip, you can remove ammo from the clip, um, and you can have, I believe, uh, a ton of clips actually in your gun, uh, specifically here. So let's go um, equip our gun again by pressing 2 on the keyboard and press the, re the cocking uh, button, which is the R button, which would typically be a reload button. Now keep in mind the entire game is based on this gun and this gun alone. So uh, yeah, when you're looking at this gun, as you can see, you can see there's no bullet in the chamber and no bullet popped out, which means if we were to fire this gun, that would happen. And you would need to uh, actually cock back this thing right here by pressing the F key. Um, you can also uh, do this and you can cock back the gun and it would actually move this back because as you can see when you move it back at the back of the gun it actually pushes the the lock in. Um, now I'm Canadian so I don't use guns in the world um, or <laughs> yeah in the real world. Um, I'm not a gun person at all. Um, don't really see the point of having a gun in person but uh, and this game is actually really cool because you can actually just, you know, play the game with a gun and, you know, try it out. So if you've never used a gun before, this is one of those games you want to check out. Um, it's only $5, um, of course. So I think I think it's really cool. Um, you can turn safety on and off, as you can see. It puts the gun to the side. Um, it's one of those games that kind of allows you to move the gun around in the middle of the screen without actually moving the screen. And it kind of does it well. Um, you can also press Q and make it so your gun's constantly up. You can even put it in safety mode. Uh, and you click, I'm clicking right now and I'm not firing the gun in safety mode. Um, you know, pull this thing back. And then if I put it in safety mode, I'm not going to fire it. So let's go ahead and grab our magazine and put it into our gun. Cock it back so the bullet's in the top of the gun. And there we go. We're loaded. We're ready to go. We're loaded. And I hold, I'm pressing Q. And then and now it locks me into this uh, thing. Otherwise, if I do this, it'll actually put my hand down at a uh, sub-ready uh, position. So when I aim, it brings the gun up, which is kind of actually a realistic thing. Uh, uh, the gun is not typically um, like this uh, on the right side of the screen. Um, generally, when you hold a gun in real life, the gun's going to be down here, and you're going to pull it up like this. And then you put it into safety and pull it down, bring it back up like that. Um, but I kind of like doing it like this. It's a little bit easier to see. So uh, basically this game is very simple things to do. Keep in mind, obviously, it was made in seven days. So um, the stuff that they managed to actually get done in this game was quite incredible. Um, and obviously they nailed it on the gun part. Uh, only one gun in the game, but this is actually just such an awesome game just to fiddle around with the gun um, and learn it. And yes, later we'll find more clips to use in our awesome gun here. So we're going to be finding robots and taking them down. There's like taser robots and there's turrets that are around in the game that we'll be able to take out. At the top right of the screen you'll see that there is uh, 0 of 11 tapes. Um, also, if you're confused about the game, you can press the question mark button and it tells you all the buttons that are in the game so you don't have to back out and relaunch it to see all the keys. All the keys are remappable. Um, and if you look here, you can actually, if you own Xpatter, you could probably map those all to an Xbox controller and have nothing to worry about. Um, so if you're interested in trying the game with an Xbox, an Xbox controller, you can probably easily um, use Xpatter. So, oh, there's a turret right there, so I'm going to try and take it out. You have to try and hit... There you go, that might have taken it out. Try and take out that camera as well. Is that everything? Yeah, okay, that thing is just going to be spinning out of control. There's another one. Alright, let me see here. I don't know how much ammo I have left, so let me see in here. I have about three bullets, including one in the chamber, so that's four. I'm going to try and sneak up and grab this guy right here. There. That gun shouldn't be able to hit me anymore. That scared me. <laughs> so yeah, those guns shouldn't be able to do anything to me now. Uh, I only have two bullets left. One in the chamber. Um, so this is not good. I need to find some ammo. Ammo will be laying around in the game. You're going to be trying to find these, uh, some tapes here as well. Man, this is not fair. 
There's like nothing for me to, to find. I'm just gonna try and run this way. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. Is there any, uh, is there any goods here? Doesn't seem like it. Might be some stuff upstairs, but I need to take this thing down. Did I get you? I did. Eat it. Alright, one bullet left that's in this chamber. Let's hope I get lucky and find some sort of ammo. Any ammo? No ammo. Wow, it's the first time I've actually been completely unlucky in finding ammo. It's usually I just die outright. This game is extremely hard, by the way. Um, when you die, you just respawn, but you spawn in a new world and everything's reset. Um, if you get shot once, you die. So that's something to keep note of. And that makes it extremely difficult, because you don't want to die. Dying is bad. Um, okay, so let's just uh, take out our magazine here and holster this. Oh, looks like we do have some bullets to use. Lucky me, I don't realize I didn't realize I actually still had some ammo left over. It's always a good idea to holster your weapon and just, you know, see to make sure everything's good. Uh, as you can see, I should have something in the chamber still and there you go, yeah, I did. So let me just quickly do one of these. We're just put that in there. There you go. Yeah, as you can see, I'm still not really used to the controls yet. It's going to take a while for me to do that. But once you get used to the controls, you can actually reload your weapon mid, uh, mid combat. Oh god, one of those taser things are here. They fly in the air, and they try and get you. And that guy's just right ahead of me. Die, bitch. Ah. No! That is not fair. That is not fair. That is not fair, bro. That's not fair. I don't have any ammo. I don't, I don't have any ammo. Why don't you go screw yourself? Ugh. Near! Run! Run for it! Run for it! I don't have any ammo. Can't something help me out here? I don't have any ammo. I'm surprised I'm still alive. I, I must have damaged that thing's taser. That's what I'm thinking. Come on, there has to be some ammo somewhere. What is this? Yeah, I just have my gun um, holstered right now. Actually, I'm just going to take up the magazine. Uh, let me see here. Oh no, I dropped my magazine? Oh, now I have to go back and get it. I must have accidentally pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I definitely pressed the wrong button. Alright, magazine should be back up here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> As you can see, this game is extremely hard. <clears throat> oh, there we go. We got a little bit lucky this time. Alright, cool. Let's pull this gun out. And let's just put this here. Fill this up. There we go. Yeah. Alright. So this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Sometimes they load your gun um, quite quite nicely, actually. Hey, there we go. We found some ammo. Yeah. These are randomly generated levels, including your weapon and how much ammo you get. Or I guess it's just how much ammo you get, considering there's only one weapon. Sometimes you get more than one clip, which is nice. This time, In this case, we got three clips, which is actually like extremely good. Probably one of the best things you can get, and they're all pretty much filled up. So this is a pretty good roll. Pretty good roll of the dice. You can crouch in the game, uh, of course. Typical FPS, you know. But with the twist of the gun is awesome. Now I would consider this game I would consider this game being very similar to a survival horror, and that's because I hate the beeping. The beeping scares the bejeebus out of me. And the fact that the gun is actually extremely hard to reload when you're not used to the controls, um, that just scares me kind of reminds me of uh, old school Resident Evil and stuff like that you know it's just really horrible controls and that's what makes the game kind of really scary but in this case I don't think the controls are bad I think it's the fact that there's so much to do in reloading a gun it's very similar to how it would be you know in real life you know having to reload a gun there was a time when I was playing paintball and uh, I only had the pistol because we were doing uh, a thing where I was like an important target and for fun I had a pistol. This is a very entrapped area right now for some reason. 
Uh, but all I had was a pistol and I had like three magazines on me. Because it's one of those nice pistols that have like a spring magazine. Or actually it's a clip I guess you would consider it. Because I'm pretty sure pistols use clips and um, like assault rifles and stuff use magazines. I would assume. I just went in a circle. Where the heck am I going? Hey, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's really difficult to concentrate on reloading when you're under fire and you're under pressure. Um, and you don't really realize it until, like, you're, you know, you're in that situation. Of course, there's a turret right there. So yeah, um, I, I think it's really interesting. And this game actually, you know, really shows it. Um, looks like there's some ammo over there. Okay, I got that guy down. Should be a, uh... There we go. I don't know how many bullets it takes to kill them. I know it's like in some cases, um, you have to hit their, uh, their lens or whatever. Um, but you know, in this case, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch out my ammo. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, but I'm just gonna... Oh, that's not what I want to do. Put this holster out. I'm gonna put my uh, my ammo into that thing up there. One second. All right. Let me just press R. Get all that up there. All right. I just want to reset all my ammo. All right. So there we go. Three. All right. So one clip will be completely empty, and that's perfectly fine with me. That can go there. Actually, I want this to be over here, and this can go in here. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of uh, inventory management, which is interesting for a game that's just about shooting one type of gun. Oof! If that shoots me, if that hits me once, I die. By the way. Okay. I don't know what way that's facing. So. So. Okay, I think if, uh, I'm, I'm mainly aiming for this thing right here, um, you can hit the gun, the battery, which I think is actually this thing, um, this is the camera that detects you, and I think this is also a sensor, um, uh, but yeah, you can, you can break the gun, you can break this, this, um, or this, I guess, but as you can see, I put a bullet right in there, and I think I put a bullet right in the camera, so, um, that definitely, you know, messed it up quite easily. So that seems like everything here. Kind of funny how these guys, you know, they see me, but they can't do anything to me. What about over here? Is that some ammo? Yes, it is. All right, so let's just quickly holster the gun, put those in there, and put the magazine or the clip back into my into my pistol. Now the game's going to have some frame stutters, unfortunately. Nothing you can really do about a game that was developed in seven days optimization is probably one of the last things on their list obviously just getting a working game is something that's a uh, pretty pretty good feat now, I hate these things but at least you can kill them now I'm just gonna replace my clip I don't think I have that much ammo on my other clip at the moment I think that killed it that was a good shot there we go Alright, so is there any other things that are going to try and kill me at the moment? Doesn't look like it. Let's quickly grab this guy and put two more things in there. Let's just uh, quickly put this thing in there and load that first clip back in. See how we do. Oh! Oh no! He shot me! Or the turret shot me. I just want to find one of those cassette tapes, tapes before we... And this here. Now I'm recording in 720p or in, in 1080p, but I'm gonna probably record in 1080p. Not fair, bro. Not fair, bro. Not fair. <laughs> freaking tased me, man. This freaking tased me. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. Not at all. All right. Sometimes they'll spawn you in a horrible place. Like that was the first time I've actually had uh, a terrible situation like that. Um, but yeah, let me just do a little bit of inventory management here. Uh, actually, let me just do that and put that there all right let me just fill this clip up fill this clip up and this one gets that um okay let's press four all right so we're just gonna throw in 
this guy in here. Cock it back. Oh, whoops. Alright, let's just throw this one down. There we go. Alright, cool. Um, so I'm going to put this guy over here in four, and this guy over here in one. Actually, this guy can go into three. Um, and there we go. Alright, cool. So let's uh, bring this back up here. So yeah, um, definitely have uh, one in the chamber, which is good. Don't want my gun locking up, because I don't have anything. There we go. Oh wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of ammo. Okay, so let's just quickly, you know, let's unload the gun, put it in here. Let's holster it up. You know, it's actually very important to actually load all the, uh, all the clips. Because it can actually save your life. But of course, there are situations where it's just like, oops, I spent all this time loading and I get killed. Like moments after. And that's probably gonna ha what's going to happen to me. But I just want to find one of these cassette tapes because they're kind of cool. And you have to find 11 of them to win. So that's pretty much it. But they uh, give a little bit of story to the place, which is pretty nice. Kind of explains why the uh, textures are the way they are. Um, apparently we are in a dream world of what I've found out so far. Um, everything is dreamt up by some dude um, or program. And I am trying to survive in it like a test subject with only one weapon um, and no flashlight but luckily there's no amnesia monsters or anything disturbing like that um, but I always keep thinking that something terrifying is going to happen very shortly and I get freaked out by this game and I know that sounds crazy considering there's only robots and stuff but something tells me some amnesia monsters is gonna walk right up to me and slap me in the face and I'm have, gonna have no idea what just happened and I'm gonna have horrible horrible nightmares Oh god. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> god damn it. No, no, damn it. God. <laughs> See what I mean by trying to tactically reload in the middle of a firefight? It's not easy. Ah. Ah, dang it. I wasted a bullet. Let's see how much ammo do I have. At least I have some. Okay, come on. We gotta find that cassette tape. The cassette tape? We gotta find a cassette tape. I mean, usually the first one's supposed to be easy to find, but... Because there's 11 of them, and, you know, in a randomly generated world... They're gonna be there somewhere. Come on, I just wanna, f I just wanna find one. Come on, game. You know, you know, help a brother out, you know? Uh, let me just... Whoop. Do one of these. There we go. Alright, it's just, uh... Bam. Alright, come on. Yeah, I hate those flying dudes, man. Those guys are the worst. Oh god, this could be like the worst horror game of all time, dude. This would scare the crap out of me if it was a true horror game. Someone needs to make a horror game like this and then I will totally play it and I will totally cry. I will pee myself a little if this was a horror game. I'm already practically losing it because this game is scary. This game's terrifying, just saying. Don't underestimate robots. They are terrifying when they beep. Beeping robots is the new way to make a horror game. You hear that, developers? Beeping robots. <sighs> Did I get it? I got you. I got your number. And it ain't pretty. Mm-mm. Uh-uh, sucker. Alright, let me just quickly do one of those, and there we go. Oh, yeah, don't mind the uh, little leg jumps. Those are complete optimization issues. There we go. What? Really? You can still fire? That's not cool. There we go, that got you. Hey, there we go. Oh! Not fair, bro. Use technology to control physical things. No! That was right when I got cassette tape. Oh, no. Well, just so you guys know, the cassette tape tapes are things... Okay, okay, this isn't cool. Are there are things that, allow, that explain some of the lore of the game. Oh, come on, I don't have anything in here? Or am I... Is my weapon stuck or jammed? Luckily, this thing's stupid. Maybe it'll give me a moment to do this. Oh my god, I have no ammo? Oh god. Oh good. Okay. Yes. Okay, where are you? Where are you? 
Are you going to give me a chance here? Maybe he'll give me a chance. I don't want to go in dark rooms. I hate dark rooms. They scare me. They scare me. Gosh, though. This game is so... So good. This game is incredible. Very well done. Very well developed in seven days, man. Seven days they made this game. In seven days God made this game. Let's go with that. Just kidding. Amazing developers made this game, and I love it. I love it. I love how people can actually come up with something this intelligent in seven days. And I'm playing it, and I'm having a blast. I'm scaring myself to death. They made a very effective survival horror game in, you know, a matter of seven days. So, you know what? That's a win. That's a win right there. Even though this is not a survival horror game. Apparently, I'm supposed to go down that dark room, because, of course, you're always supposed to go down the dark path. Now, unfortunately, there's no interface for me to, like, turn down the sound, I don't believe. Oh, crap. Yeah, I press escape and then that happened, so... Yeah, whatever. Um, let's just quickly... There we go. Load this gun up. Hey, at least we know there's a bullet in the chamber. That's always a good thing. Having no interface for that can always be a pain. I really just want to, like, let you guys listen to one of the cassette tapes. Now, the cassette tapes aren't, like you know, done in a way where it has to be, you know, you can only read them or hear them in a specific way. You can actually listen to them, listen to them out of order, which is actually really cool. And uh, I really like that. Oh, did I seriously go in a circle? I have to go confront the robot, man. I have to go confront the robot. It's a conspiracy. Oh, no, I lied. Hey, there's a... Uh, okay, let's survive. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. I hate Robrutch. Oh, oh, oh. No. No. You whore. Okay. Take it slow. Put it in. Hawk it back. Uh. Kill it. In the name of justice. Yes. Yes. I am God. Oh, good. <laughs> I hate this game. Okay. Whew. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Well. Okay, well that is the game receiver, folks. You can go in the description and find out where to go get it. It is only $5 to support the developers. They are geniuses. They know what they're doing. And I'm pretty sure they will come out with a receiver too with other guns like the M16, A2, or something like that. I don't know. Um, but definitely support these guys. These guys are geniuses. They made an awesome game. And uh, just look at that. That is so awesome how I can just do this. You know, holster the weapon. Put ammo into the, cl into the clips. That is just so cool. I, r I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. This is a great game. Imagine if Arma had this, you know, sort of capability to, uh, you know, reload a gun in this sort of fashion um, in a hyper-realistic, you know, simulation style of things. Um, I think it's really cool uh, regarding, you know, the gun mechanics and everything like that. It's definitely one of the most fun experiences you can have for, you know, about an hours of time. And if you can actually finish... Um, the game, that's actually an achievement in, in and of itself, I would say. Um, considering this game is just ridiculously difficult, it's like the hardest of hard games. Um, it, this game would probably bring it back to, you know, back to the days of Serious Sam and stuff, maybe. If Serious Sam was a hard game, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Because um, I never played it. Or Doom. Ooh, Doom was probably a pretty tough game, huh, back in the day. Um... But yeah, this this game just brings it back to like what games used to be. It's like one shot pretty much kill you. There's no regenerating health because one shot kills you. Um, you know, pretty much stuff like that. Let's try and get that guy. Doesn't seem like we're being too lucky, huh? Yeah, that guy wants to eat me. He wants to eat me for breakfast. Maybe we can get up top and shoot him. I don't know, guys. Will we be able to get a cassette tape? Maybe my, maybe my want for the cassette tape has been re-initiated. That's even possible. 
It's just always something there that's going to ruin my day. Hey, there we go. I wonder if I can find more clips. I never actually found another clip. It's always just been like, hey, here's your clips. And it's like, cool. Oh, something beeped at me. I don't know where that would have been from. I don't know. Something beeped at me. Oh, it's a turret up there. Let's see. I see. That is not fair. Let me see. Oh my god. That's not fair. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Well, I wasted all my ammo on that, huh? Oh. Okay. Well, I might as well put this in my gun, huh? Alright, let's do that. Hey, you go, you go in my gun. Or do I already have something in my gun? I must already have something in my gun. I do. An empty magazine. Okay. And... You all go in there. And you go in there. And... Mm-hmm. Okay. There's one more down here. As you can see, all the... All the bullets. All the shells and casings and stuff. Come on, keep going. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. That's how it be. That's how it do. Oh. I love doing that. Makes me feel like a pro. I think if you just get the camera, I think it just can't do anything because I can't see. Which is pretty nice. Actually, you know what? That's still a lot of bullets in there. Okay, I really just want to do this. I really want to win it. Not win it, but, you know, get one of those things. Hey, you! Jerk face. I see you. I see you and your evilness. Come on now. I got this. Really? Come on now. Yeah. Oh. Come on now. Oh god damn it. Oh god. Did I get it? Finally! Oh my god. Do I have any... Oh, I have no ammo. Well, this just made things interesting. I thought that was ammo for a moment. Well, if I have no ammo, I think I'm screwed, huh? There's a turret down there, so that's probably my death. That's definitely my death. Yep. <laughs> well, guys. Alright, that was the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Definitely go check it out. Again, link is in the description to go pick up the game. Only $5 and it supports the developers directly. So, uh, without further ado, I'm Akavane101 and I'll see you guys next time.